we'll see how to use GeoGebra to solve the problem of finding maximum and minimum values of a function with restrictions in one variable. This means to find the maximum value of the and the minimum value of this function given here, 3 eighths of x cubed plus 0.5 x squared minus 0.5 x when x goes between minus 2 and 2. For that, we need to open GeoGebra. Uh, first thing you need to do is here input the function so f of x equals 2 and now we have 3 put the symbol of divided which is over the 7 8 and now if you don't want to continue writing on the denominator you should press the right key to come out and then the space just to make it visible x write the cara cube and again right key to come out of the exponent plus 0.5 x carat 2 right key to come on minus 0.5 x press enter okay so here we have our function and let's increase a little bit so you can come to here and say zoom and with the mouse wheel you can zoom in the function let's see before finding let's come back here to move uh, we find the critical points where the derivative is zero. So for that we put f prime of x and GeoGebra automatically computes. And I don't want to see the derivative, this one in brown. So I click here to vanish. I want to find this point here and this point here. I can do a solve f prime of x equals zero. And that solves the two points. However, the points are not marked. We have to assume this point here is the first one. So the best thing is to use the maximum maximum of the function f between minus 2 and 2. Um, sorry, maximum, maximum of, so it gives me the list. This is the one I need, max of f between minus 2 and 2. And here it is, is minus 1.25, corresponds to this, and is the point A. Now the point B we want to find is the minimum of A between minus 2 and 2. And this point. Now the function it has the variable x between minus 2, which is 0 here, is less than this, but the value of 2 is bigger. Remember, when we have a function bounded, we need to compute f of the left point, which is 0, and f of the right point, which is 4. So we have this value. Here, what this means is when x is minus 1.25, the function is 0 0.67 here. And this point, this here means when x is 0 0.36, the function is minus 0 0.1. Let's mark this point. So we put c equals 2, x is minus 2, uh, min minus 2, and the y is 0. So here is this point C, which corresponds to here, and let's put the point B equals 2,4. These are the points. So you can see the minimum is here, because this is minus 0 0.1, the maximum is here. Okay, so what we need to do is first get rid of A and C. So we can stop showing them, for example, clicking here, doesn't show A, that is on C. So let's try to mark this like the minimum and the maximum. Come here, right click, go to settings, let's change the color. Is the minimum, let's put it red, for example, and uh, we call it minimum. Minimum. And press start. Here is your minimum. You can even move this level a little bit. Let's move up to the maximum. Right click on top of it, settings, this is the maximum. So put here maximum. And let's change the color to know, green. Here you have, it's not coming very well, but here it is. This is the minimum of the function, this is the maximum of the function. To make it clear we're moving the interval, we'll do one more thing. We write here x equals to minus 2. This is this line that is cutting here, and then we we'll move x equals to 2. Okay, let's change a little bit of colors just for the fun of it. Go here settings of the function, which in the color to blue. And then the two lines here, go right click here, settings in color to the yellow, is the third one. And I'm going to change this in settings 
here and then go over to yeah and that's it now we go to here file save the file whatever you want to save i will save and that ends this ends my video